Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Monday, November 28, 2016. I'm Fredicia Leibert. The role of women and girls in the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda will be the topic of discussion when the NIA's Ministry of Social Development, in collaboration with the United Nations Population Fund, convenes a one-day women's forum at the Mount Nevis Hotel on Wednesday, November 30th. The initiative, the brainchild of Junior Minister of Social Development, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, is a thrust to encourage women to take a more active role in decision making and in the implementation of the new Sustainable Development Goals. The 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, adopted in 2015 by the UN General Assembly, covers a number of areas of concern for women, including poverty eradication, education and training, maternal, sexual and reproductive health rights, economic empowerment, reducing violence against women and girls, and promoting women in political leadership. Organized by the Gender Affairs Division and the Department of Sustainable Development, the forum will bring together from across St. Kitts and Nevis members of the Youth Parliament, the Youth Council, workers at the CA Paul Southwell Industrial Site, religious leaders, business and professional women, healthcare workers, single and teenage mothers, representatives of political parties, members of the Bar Association, and students at the tertiary level of education. In more local news, End it now! Stop the violence! End it now! Stop the violence! End it now! Stop the violence! End it now! The Seventh-day Adventist Churches on Nevis on Saturday, November 26th, took a stand against crime and violence as they joined the End It Now Global Campaign. Organized by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the campaign aims to raise awareness of and advocate for the end of violence. It also mobilizes Adventists around the world and invites other faiths, denominations and community groups to join in to resolve this worldwide issue. Saturday's march, which began at the Villa Grounds, made its way through Bath Village and culminated with a rally at the War Memorial Square in Charlestown. There are many persons who feel that we do not have domestic violence in these small Caribbean islands. That is a fallacy. It exists everywhere and if we are honest, we don't have to look too far to find crime and violence. And this afternoon, we want to let you know that we are taking a public stand against crime, against violence, against every form of abuse. We have come to let you know that wherever you see crime, wherever you see violence, you have a responsibility to speak out against it. Are you hearing me? If you hear it, you must speak out about it. Because guess what? If you keep silent, you become an enabler. You may not be the person who feels physically harmed or who feels abused, but not too distant in the future, you or maybe someone you know may become a victim and you would have wished for the opportunity that you could have said something. And so we are taking that opportunity this afternoon to end crime and violence now. The End It Now campaign, which extends to more than 200 countries and territories, was launched in October 2009 through a partnership between the Adventist Development and Relief Agency and the Women Ministries Department of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Violence against women and girls continues to dominate society. Why should someone be ashamed if, some, if she, she is being beaten? It's not the fault of the one who is being beaten. Somebody else has the problem, but we remain ashamed and embarrassed to speak. You do not deserve to be beaten by anyone. You deserve joy, you deserve peace, you deserve happiness. Why? Just for the simple fact that you are a woman. And I want all of us, men who are here, I want to appeal to all the men, all the men, boys, men, value the persons who make you who you are. Dr. Yulili Semper is the Director of the Education Ministry for the South Leeward Mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. 
Some 300 citizens and friends of St. Kitts and Nevis in Dubai on Saturday joined in the celebration of the Federation's 33rd anniversary of independence. During a gala dinner held in the Dubai Ballroom at the JW Marriott Marquis Hotel on November 24th, guest of honor His Excellency Dr. Rashid Ahmed Mohammed Al Fayed, Minister of State in the UAE government, and several other members of the diplomatic corps in the region were, were in attendance. Consul General at the Consulate of St. Kitts and Nevis in Dubai, Justin Hawley, gave his inaugural speech and conveyed special greetings from the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Timothy Harris. Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Mark Brantley, reassured citizens they are welcomed, loved, and are an integral part of the tapestry of St. Kitts and Nevis. He encouraged them to respect and protect the reputation of their country. Minister Brantley had high praise for the consulate staff who organized the prestigious event and was pleased to learn that scores of citizens in attendance intended to visit St. Kitts and Nevis in the next few months. Awards of appreciation were presented to Mohamed Motevassel, Giselle Brew, Howard Rohaidi Hakim, and Media Motion Pub public relations for their consistent support to Consulate General over the past year. Additionally, Nivision artist Vaughan Anslin was presented with a plaque for his recent contribution to the Consulate. Anslin volunteered his time and expertise to paint a mural depicting the life in St. Kitts and Nevis on a wall in the new offices of the Consulate General of St. Kitts and Nevis after it was relocated to the Dubai Marina area earlier this month. Several pieces of Anslin's work were on display in the ballroom foyer. Minister Brantley, Consul General Hawley, and Deputy Consul General Elsa Wilkin Ambrister used the occasion to interact with the invitees. Still to come. The date is the 30th of November at 6.30 p.m. at the Charlestown Memorial Square. The details after this break. At a loss as to what's going on in Nevis, tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me NC and you NC, NNC. Welcome back. The Christmas season is fast approaching and in light of this, the Department of Community Development will be hosting a number of Christmas tree lighting ceremonies around the island. The first of the season will be the Charlestown Christmas tree lighting ceremony, which is scheduled to take place this Wednesday, November 30th. This year it's going to be different. We Instead of just having a normal concert where people come and sing, there'll be a, there's a theme, Light the Night. Mm -hmm. And so um, the night will be lit with um, extraordinary performances. Mm -hmm. And this year we're also doing it in collaboration with youth and sports. So I'm hoping that the youthful population will come out in, in numbers. This year's patron will be Steve Reed Sr. of Craddock Road. Director of the Department of Community Development, Janet Meloni, outlines why he was chosen. And Mr. Reed is chosen because of um, his contribution to the the St. Paul's community, you know, he was a Californian and um, he also in agriculture. And um, he's very talented and, and very skilled and I think that he's a person because of his contribution back to the community that he, he was um, nominated and eventually the one that we chose to be the honor. Meloni is encouraging the Nivision public to come out and support the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It will fall in for story, um, I think the concert will flow. It wouldn't have uh, much talking. Um, it is, uh, let me just put it, I want you to come out and witness for yourself. It's going to be a concert with a difference. I just want to encourage the Nivijan public to come out and be a part of the Christmas tree lighting in town, or what we term as the national Christmas tree lighting, and come and, and, and light up the night. 
The ceremony will be held at the War Memorial Square in Charlestown on Wednesday, November 30th at 6.30 p.m. Meantime, a notice from the Traffic Department of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force advises that in order to facilitate preparations for the Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the War Memorial Square, traffic diversions will be in effect from 1 p.m. on Tuesday, November 29th to 10 a.m. on Wednesday, November 30th. Vehicles traveling from the Gingerland direction to Charlestown will be diverted onto Government Road and vehicles traveling from the Newcastle direction to Charlestown will be diverted onto Happy Hill Drive. Buses that ply the Gingerland route will be allowed to utilize the bus stop as usual. The traffic department apologizes for any inconvenience caused by these interruptions of the flow of traffic. The official launch of the 2016 Gingerama contestants took place on Saturday, November 26th at Market Shop in Gingerland. The four contestants for the Miss Gingerbread pageant introduced themselves to the public. My name is Araya Matthew, contestant numero uno in the TDC Miss Gingerbread pageant. Come on out on December 18th to witness this 10 year old princess as I contribute to reviving our culture, sustaining our heritage. See you there. I am seven year old, Alexandra Week, and I am ready to finish the rest of the I am inviting you to come on out on December 18th and I show you what it means as we revive our culture and sustain our heritage. I am the vibrant 11 year old Kizaria Tucker from the beautiful village of Hanley Zoo, inviting you to come out to Crowley House Market Shop Sunday, December 18, 2015, 8 p.m. sharp. I'm your contestant with number four, 10 year old Sheriff Cabral, hailing from the Unified Village of Maine as well, inviting you to come on out on 18 December at 8 p.m. sharp to Crony's Village to the second ever Miss Ginger Red Pageant. The 2016 Miss Ginger Rama contestants were also revealed at Saturday's launch. Sponsored by Rocket Shopping and Excavating Services, I am 18 year old Denise Lyra. Inviting you all out on December 16, 8 p.m. at Cornish House to witness a night of beauty, talent, and grace. Remember, reviving our culture, sustaining our heritage. Ginger Rubber Brethren, are you ready? Feast your eyes on this delectable beauty. Your contestant number two, Miss Fiona Vanterpool. Proudly sponsored by the Nevis Ginger, the Nevis Culturama Committee. Contestant number three in this year's Miss Gingerama pageant. I am honored to be sponsored by Baba's Taxi and Scenery Tour. Come on out on December 16, 2016, to see myself and three other beauties as we buy for the title of Miss Gingerama 2016. With class, distinction, and poise, we will surely be reviving our culture and sustaining our heritage. I am the intelligent. The vivacious, the curvaceous, 21 year old Miss Zai Kelly, beauty number four in this year's Ginger and Queen's pageant. Proudly sponsored by St. Kitson Navis Development Bank. Take a walk with me to the pond on December 16, 8 p.m. sharp. The reigning Miss Gingerette Shante Hendrickson and reigning Miss Gingerama swimsuit Tarika Brown were also present. After the launch, the contestants paraded in a motorcade which passed through different villages in Gingerland, headed into Charlestown and culminated at Market Shop. The 2016 Gingerama Festival will run from Wednesday 14th to Sunday 18th December at Crony's House in Gingerland. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.